interrupt our program for a special news bulletin. The UFOs are back in the news again tonight. However, this time, the sighting of an unusual object in the sky has been corroborated by thousands of residents of the northeastern part of the United States. Flying saucer or meteor, it's certain that a fiery object has been seen, as some reported, so bright that it lighted the countryside like the sun. As in many of these reports, there was a wide discrepancy in description of what the object looked like. Some reported it as long and cigar-shaped, others as a sphere. Some say it glowed in a pulsating orange light, others saw it as a blue-white with blinking red and blue running light. However, all witnesses agreed on two very important and unusual facts. The object was in near horizontal flight, and its speed was far less than that commonly associated with meteors, if that's what it was. One observer stated that it took fully 10 seconds to cross the sky from the northeastern to the southwestern horizon. meteorite, and not a visitor from another planet, is what has been seen. He elaborated on the behavior of the object by saying that slow meteors, though not common, had been recorded before, and that the flat atmosphere entry plane has also been noted in previous other reports. We now return to our regularly... Uh, here's another late bulletin. Reports are now coming in from Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and other Midwestern states. They have seen the object in the sky and a full half hour has elapsed since the initial reports. All authorities, including Dr. Sebring, admit to being confounded by the time lapse between the East Coast sightings and the Midlands Passage of the object. The science editor, Gerald Fine, of the Federal Broadcasting Company, has issued a challenge to the Air Force to explain this sighting. There was no meteor, he says, and the public will not be satisfied with an explanation as mundane as previous ones. Swamp gas or weather balloons the BPWI News Department will be standing by to bring you any further information on this bizarre phenomenon that has half the nation mystified. In the meantime, we'll return to our regularly scheduled program.
Hey, there ain't nobody in there. I, uh, I want a room. Yeah, it's so damn hot in there, I come out here to cool off a little. Are you the, uh, you the desk clerk? <laughs> desk clerk? <laughs> I own a dump. Hey, you want a room? How, how long are you going to stay? Oh, uh, uh, about a week. Uh, I, I, I'm here for a job interview. Yeah? You got a name? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, uh, Jim Smith. <laughs> It'll be a week in advance. A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? Your sign up is three and a half a day. Yeah, well, we got special rates for guys like you. <laughs> guys that drive big cars and come to dumps like this. Take it or leave it, mister. That's an out-of-state license, isn't it? SG121732, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, thanks, mister. Which room? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's the one, uh, it's the one on the end. Hey, Mr. Smith. Good luck on your job interview. <laughs> into town? <clears throat> Ain't been a car longer than I know. I sure do. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 